Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. The internet has revolutionized our lives, connecting us in ways unimaginable just a few decades ago. But this hyperconnectivity comes at a price. Increased vulnerability to cyber attacks. Understanding how these attacks unfold is crucial for individuals and organizations alike. This video delves into the world of cybersecurity, exploring the tools and techniques hackers use to exploit system vulnerabilities. Our aim is purely educational, to empower you with the knowledge to protect yourself and your digital assets. We will explore the tactics employed by malicious actors, but always with an emphasis on prevention and defense. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the digital age, cybersecurity awareness is paramount. Join us as we unravel the complexities of cyber attacks and learn how to fortify our defenses in this ever-evolving digital battlefield. Before launching an attack, hackers often conduct extensive reconnaissance, much like a military operation. This involves gathering information about their target, identifying potential vulnerabilities, and planning their attack strategy. One common reconnaissance technique is Open Source Intelligence, OSINT, which leverages publicly available information to gain insights into a target. This can include anything from social media profiles and company websites to technical forums and public databases. Hackers use OSINT to gather email addresses, identify employees, uncover network infrastructure details, and more. By piecing together these seemingly innocuous pieces of information, they can build a comprehensive profile of their target and identify potential attack vectors. Armed with this knowledge, they can then move on to more targeted attacks, using tools and techniques designed to exploit specific vulnerabilities. Once hackers have gathered sufficient intelligence about their target, they often move on to vulnerability scanning. This involves using automated tools to probe systems and networks for known weaknesses. Think of it like testing the locks on your doors and windows to see which ones are vulnerable. These tools scan for open ports, outdated software, misconfigured settings, and other vulnerabilities that can be exploited. One popular vulnerability scanner is Nmap, a powerful and versatile tool used by both security professionals and malicious actors. Nmap can be used to identify open ports, determine the operating system and services running on a system, and even fingerprint specific applications. While vulnerability scanners can be valuable tools for security professionals, in the wrong hands, they can be used to identify and exploit weaknesses in systems and networks. Nmap, short for Network Mapper, is a free and open source network scanner widely used for network exploration and security auditing. It's a powerful tool that can provide a wealth of information about a target system or network. Nmap works by sending specially crafted packets to a target and analyzing the responses. This allows it to identify open ports, determine the operating system and services running on a host, and even fingerprint specific applications. Security professionals use Nmap to identify potential vulnerabilities, assess network security, and perform security audits. However, hackers can also use Nmap for malicious purposes, such as identifying targets, mapping networks, and finding systems vulnerable to specific attacks. While Nmap itself is not malicious, it's a powerful tool that can be used for both good and bad. Section 5. Exploitation Frameworks Metasploit and its alternatives. Exploitation frameworks are tools that automate the process of exploiting vulnerabilities. They provide a collection of exploits, payloads, and other tools that can be used to gain access to systems and networks. One of the most well-known exploitation frameworks is Metasploit. Metasploit is a powerful tool that can be used for both offensive and defensive security purposes. Security professionals use it to test the security of their systems and networks while hackers can use it to exploit vulnerabilities and gain unauthorized access. Metasploit provides a vast library of exploits, payloads, and auxiliary modules that can be used to target a wide range of systems and applications. It also includes features for automating tasks, managing sessions, and evading detection. While Metasploit is a powerful tool, it's important to remember that it's just one of many tools that can be used for exploitation. There are numerous alternatives to Metasploit, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Section 6. The Ethical Hacker's Toolkit Beyond Metasploit 
While Metasploit is a widely known exploitation framework, it's crucial to understand that the Ethical Hacking Toolkit extends far beyond any single tool. Ethical hackers, also known as penetration testers, employ a diverse range of tools and techniques to simulate real-world attacks and identify vulnerabilities. These tools encompass vulnerability scanners, network sniffers, password crackers, and more. Each tool serves a specific purpose in the penetration testing process, allowing ethical hackers to assess security from different angles. For instance, network sniffers capture and analyze network traffic, providing insights into data flow and potential security loopholes. Password crackers, used ethically, test the strength of passwords and highlight weaknesses in authentication mechanisms. The key takeaway is that ethical hacking is not about relying on a single tool like Metasploit, but rather about adopting a holistic approach to security assessment. By utilizing a diverse toolkit and methodologies, ethical hackers can provide comprehensive security evaluations. Section 7. Prevention is key building a strong defense. While understanding how hackers exploit vulnerabilities is crucial, the ultimate goal is to prevent attacks from succeeding. Building a strong security posture involves a multi-layered approach, focusing on both technical controls and user awareness. On the technical front, this includes keeping software up to date, implementing strong passwords and multi-factor authentication, and using firewalls to control network access. Regularly backing up data is also essential to mitigate the impact of a successful attack. But technology alone is not enough. User education is paramount. Employees should be trained to identify phishing attempts, avoid clicking on suspicious links, and report any suspicious activity. Remember, security is a shared responsibility. By staying informed, adopting best practices, and remaining vigilant, we can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to cyber attacks. Section 8. Stay informed, stay secure. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, with new threats emerging all the time. Staying informed about the latest threats, vulnerabilities, and security best practices is crucial for maintaining a strong security posture. There are numerous resources available to stay up to date on cybersecurity, including security blogs, industry publications, and government websites. Following reputable security researchers and organizations on social media can also provide valuable insights. Remember, knowledge is power. By staying informed, you empower yourself to make informed decisions about your online safety and protect yourself from cyber threats. Section 9. Join the fight. Subscribe to CyberWorld YT. Ready to dive deeper into the world of cybersecurity? Join us on CyberWorld YT, your source for cutting-edge information, analysis, and practical tips on staying safe online. Our channel features in-depth discussions on the latest cyber threats and practical tutorials to enhance your security posture. We're committed to making cybersecurity accessible and understandable for everyone. Subscribe to Cyber World YT today and become part of a community dedicated to fighting cybercrime and creating a safer digital world. Together, let's stay ahead of the curve and build a more secure online future.